We've the, seen bank a lot of businesses. To, the Bank of England needs to be much more aggressive in um, terms of monetary policy. It needs to begin to monetize debt. It needs to be able uh, to buy gilts directly from the Bank of England. Uh, so there is no need necessarily to go to external funding markets. Uh, this is a, a, a perfectly reasonable policy to use at a time when inflation risk is zero. In fact, deflation is the big risk. The real problem is insufficient demand to keep capacity operating. And our target in terms of economic policy should be to ensure that the broad framework of productive business remains intact for the recovery, which will come. You mentioned the Bank of England's balance sheet there. I mean, what happens to all this debt that's being issued post the crisis? I mean, is this just going to sit on the Bank of England's balance sheet forever and a day? I mean, you're talking about potentially debt to GDP, deficit to GDP ratios of 8 to 10 per cent again. Well, I, I don't think I don't think that's a, a useful metric. I think it's the the affordability, uh, and very low interest rates means that we can afford a higher ratio than we could have done when interest rates were in their mid-teens. Um, so. 15 years ago, we regarded 40% debt to GDP as being toppy. Um, now I have no difficulty with debt to GDP going uh, well over 100% if it means that the economy can then in due course begin to produce, at which time you drain the liquidity off. And as businesses and people begin to earn, then your tax income goes up, you stop paying these special benefits, and you get yourself back into a stable funding position. But pro tem, uh, the government borrows with its left hand through the debt management office of the Treasury, and it buys the same debt back through the Bank of England's uh, QE uh, program. So it's a bit like transferring money from your left-hand trouser pocket to your right-hand <laughs> trouser pocket. But as it goes through, it gives liquidity and energy to the economy. That's what's missing at the moment. I actually found it, and I don't think government's thinking quickly enough. I found it shocking that after waiting eight days to hear Rishi Shunak's program for uh, the self-employed, he came up with the same program he'd already announced for the employed. It was blindingly obvious that that could work for the self-employed. So why were people put through that unnecessary stress for eight days? So I think that it, uh, I know the people in the Treasury and Bank are really high quality and of extraordinary high commitment to public service, but they they clearly don't have the capacity to handle all these issues.